So <laughs> actually you backed into it. Um, I, I didn't really sit down and think I'm going to start a startup uh, business. I, I had a company that uh, one of my companies moved out of my space and we had space left over. And so I'm talking to my uh, CFO, what are we going to do? And he said, well, we should sublet and we should build a wall here and build a wall there. And it's like, what are you talking about? How much money did we spend to make this place look this way? And now you want to put walls in there? It's going to like ruin everything. So what about we just let young people come in here and try to start businesses? And so I talked to Maya about the idea and Maya said, Pops, that's not how it's done. <laughs> you, there's a way, there's a thing called an incubator or an accelerator. And I'll go to the mainland and find out all about how incubators and accelerators work. I'll come back and then we'll figure it out from there. And she did. She went to the mainland and she came back and that's the start of it. Usually I show up at the beginning of the cohort and give everybody a, a how can I say, uh, a little speech about what, what's expected of them. Um, you know, this is... A, if you go back in time, I had my chance to become to be a startup. I didn't have any mentors. I just did it the hard way. So these people have a big advantage over people like me who, who really was starting without knowing anything about business. And here we are. We're training them. We're teaching them how to. Um, we're we're teaching them how to um, uh, present their business case, how to write a business plan. And these are all things that I never studied or never worked on. So, um, but I do know something about how to run a company and how to start, how to survive as a startup. It's never what you think it is at the beginning. You have to be flexible and be able to pivot and throw away what you think is a great idea because it takes too much time or money. Um, you, you need to be able to focus on what is your minimum viable product. That is something that I really learned early on in, in, in my business career. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here today. So I've also mentored several times. You know, if there's a group uh, that just so happens to be in an area where they think I have some expertise, like gaming or whatever, then uh, I, could, I could mentor. So my go-to go speech goes back to my days as a surfer. So, you know, to learn how to surf, you have to paddle and you have to stand up on small waves you have to keep on doing it until you're comfortable paddling and standing up and then you start catching smaller waves and bigger waves and bigger waves and bigger waves um a business when do you start a business like when do you surf well you don't surf when there's no waves i've started companies too soon and by the time the business actually arrived i'd already burned through my money or burned through my energy and so that's the danger. The danger is, th is that if you start paddling too soon, then you're, gonna, you're not going to catch a wave. And if you're paddling too late, that's also another situation. So the timing, surfing, is all about timing. When do you paddle? And when you do paddle, you have to know uh, how to surf. Uh, so basically, that's what we're talking about here. We're, we're giving you all the tools uh, to be able to surf uh, you have to be able to watch when the waves are coming and when the waves are coming that's the time you launch your business my advice to uh, to entrepreneurs or to somebody who wants to start a new company is don't do something that you don't want to do <laughs> you know I if I'd have listened to other people and do what they thought I was going you know I, I had to do I would not have been successful you have to have the passion for what it is that you want to do and you have to stick to your guns if it doesn't work put down your guns think again and start another one um, but don't don't get derailed uh, because most people haven't been successful in this particular way and the only ones that have actually been successful are, are the ones who actually went through it and made sure they stayed on course so set your sights on whatever it is that you want to do and never give up until you have to, <laughs> and then do it again. <laughs> I have uh, a number of missions and projects uh, that are alive. Um, I have a new company that's just growing up. We're, we're in Series A, um, so we've got 25 people. We did uh, just short of $20 million business last year. It's a battery business. Um, 
but my missions in life is what are, are what drive me today. And so how I spend my days, well, during COVID, I've got probably like today, I've got probably six, maybe seven Zooms with people all over the planet. Um, before COVID, I was traveling uh, around the world every couple of months, meeting people, trying to organize the end of climate change. This is something uh, very, um, this is my mission number one. And the other thing that I'm uh, really active on is, uh, I would say is mission number three, which is to make a backup of life on earth. So I'm working on building uh, moon-based prototypes with the objective of actually building a base on the moon at some point in time. So those things keep me quite busy. Oh yeah, and I've got a couple of, uh, <laughs> how do I do this? I always say I'm not gonna start another business, but I'm, uh, I am thinking about other businesses. It just it's, I guess it's in my blood.